Hi guys, Matt Thomas here at Cedar Rock Studio Gallery in Indiana, and today I've got a very amazing guitar on my lap. This is one of my favorite builders of all time. This is a Raymond Kraut Double O. Now this features a Swiss Moon Spruce top on it, and the way he voices these things with his version of the lattice bracing is just so unbelievably deep especially being such a small guitar for it to have such a deep voicing is just bonkers um and the lovely thing about this guitar in particular it's got this square cut out for a sound port so now you've got four corners for increased air velocity which you probably have heard me talk about um but you can also get a peek inside of here at this gorgeous bracing that he's done here. And it's it's one of the most unique I've, I've ever seen and experienced. Now, um, like I said, it is a Swiss moon top with a European maple back and sides that is just so gorgeously flamed and figured. Um, and really the, the sides have this gorgeous side silking that you know, the first thing you see is the bright white of this maple, but then that side silking has these lovely amber kind of chatoyants to them. Now, it's got it, rosewood binding all the way around, and it's got something unique right in here. You might be able to see it, but I'll make sure to blow up a picture for you. It's a cutaway bevel. And the way that he executed this is just so cool. It's like he tucked the side inward, but it allows you to get to these upper frets without it actually being a cutaway. So you still keep, you know, the mass and volume of the box without sacrificing, you know, a lot of air volumetric space there. So um, he went ahead and put an ebony bridge here, um, an ebony fretboard which I should mention this is two and a quarter here and also one and three fourths here. So it's very comfortable to play either flat picking or finger picking. Um, but one of my favorite things about Kraut's builds are his neck shape. They're a very, very flat C uh, and it's very slim. So it is not at all cumbersome to get around and you can really plant your thumb on the back of the neck here. That way, so it doesn't slide around at all. And it almost feels like there's hardly any taper whatsoever. It doesn't feel like it gets very much thicker as you get up the neck here. So your chord shapes don't really have to change with how deep you're holding your hand and thumb. Now, another thing are these appointments. He went ahead and used some turquoise but also some green purfling all the way throughout it. So it's got just this lovely kind of aqua sense with the way it pops with this Swiss moon and Euro. It's just right in your face. And I love that type of contrast. And he also did that same theme up here in the headstock. Now, as you flip around, you also have a back cap of that Euro maple, but he has such a unique carved volute here. Um, it's, it's just a perfect little semicircle th all throughout it and really allows you to hold the instrument with such ease when you go to show everybody, look how beautiful this is. Or at least I know I would if this were my instrument. Now, enough about how gorgeous he made this particular instrument. Um, which might not have mentioned. This is a 2020 build and is in mint condition. But good Lord. It's just gonna keep going unless I stop it. When I tell it to stop, it'll stop. But if not, it's just gonna talk over me. Which I don't mind, I'd listen to this thing all day long. Mm -hmm. 
Now it does feel like a short scale. So I'm going to assume that this is a 25 inch scale length. Um, and it's very comfortable, even though I've got that down to C, it still retains its meat and intonates very well. So if you've got any other further questions about this legendary Raymond Kraut double O, message Alan at cedarrockstudio.com and thanks for listening.